Globex data is in an industry that is growing and probably becoming even more important as uh, the world goes on. And with me is the CEO, Alan Ghani, to explain about Globex data. And we're talking about cybersecurity hacking. Um, I mean, we hear about these, it seems like every day, and it seems they're becoming more frequent and, and the money exchanged is more than I ever remember. I mean, millions and millions and millions. So Alon, welcome. Good to see you again. And I, I guess like for people who haven't seen our previous interviews, just give me an overview of what Globex data is doing. Sure. Thank you, Jane. And hello to anyone who's watching us. So Globex Data is originally a Swiss-based company, um, which uh, spun off an entity in the public markets in Canada and U.S. Uh, we trade under ticker SWISF. What we do is we specialize in secure and private communication. So we have one main application called Secure, spelled S-E-K-U-R, uh, you're going to go to secure.com and, and see what we do. And we have an email and a messaging app. Now, what's different between us and the competition, let's say, is that we do not use any of the big tech platforms to host our, our, our application. We do not use open source coding. So that eliminates, of course, a lot of hacking issue. And we also store everything in Switzerland only. I'm from Switzerland myself. So all the data centers are in Switzerland. There are redundancies only in Switzerland. Uh, we don't use AWS or any of these international company. And that also makes it very unique because we don't need to comply with a very intrusive Cloud Act. Uh, you can look it up. The Cloud Act is a law that came about a couple of years ago that dictates that even if your data is in a foreign country, um, if you're using a U.S. technology platform, it can be subpoenaed or it'll be duplicated in the U.S. So we're in a very unique position. We have Secure, which is an email and messaging app, and we have Secure Messenger for $5 a month. You basically get the best privacy out there. We also don't require your phone number uh, to download the app and to register. That is critical because you just talked about all the hacking and basically, you know, the hacking comes first with your phone. Yeah, interesting. So now we had a high profile situation here in the U.S. over the past couple of weeks. Tucker Carlson, a Fox News host, claims that he has been hacked by the NSA, the National Security Agency. I mean, what are your thoughts about that situation? I saw that, and um, we don't know who hacked him, but the fact is this is where the Cloud Act comes in, so it's intrusive. I'm sure that Mr. Carlson's email or, or platform is hosted by Microsoft, Google, or AWS. Uh, the open source coding is one problem. Also, Microsoft got its source code stolen when they had a few of the SolarWinds hacks, so there's no more security out there. Now, whether it's NSA or somebody else that was hired to do it, the point is that Mr. Carlson's emails were now all over the map, and he was actually getting copies from his email from other people, so everybody can read his content. And that also brings me to the data mining issue. We do not data mine anything, and we're probably the only ones who do that because data mining is too... Uh, too much of a good thing. So basically, it's too profitable for companies to ignore. But us, because of the Swiss law, because of our philosophy and everything else, we don't data mine anything. So the problem with that is now all his emails, all his content is out there. Then you're going to see some malicious actors as well. Mm. Uh, so I think this this problem, which was basically you know exposed because he's a very famous TV per, uh, person, uh, is is a problem that tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people have, and unfortunately, it's 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 hard to to control if you're using those big tech and those open source and those data mined companies. Good point. So, and that's where Secure comes in because you don't use those. That's where we come so, in exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we charge you five, ten dollars a month, but you know one thing. It's like the old Swiss bank account. You knew that when you put your money in Switzerland or if you have a safety deposit box over there, it's not going anywhere. Nobody has a right to look at it or even to, to even know about it. So Secure is a great platform. 
we're unique in that way. We also have, uh, talking about secure, if I may, we have a way to communicate with non-secure user. Because the problem, Jane, is that people say, well, yes, but I use WhatsApp because everybody has WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Well, now with us, you don't need to have everybody using secure. You can literally message with someone who doesn't have the, the application, which is amazing. It's unique in the world. Yeah, no, that for sure is. So, and, and how is your rollout in the U.S. going? Where, where does that stand? Well, we're starting officially July 15 with a 60 second ad that we put on um, on some of the network out there three times a day, seven days a week for a year. We've started to sponsor some of the YouTube events, some podcasts, even from, you know, Mr. Larry Codlow himself. Mm -hmm. um, so the rollout is doing great. Actually, the last two days, we've just saw a spike as we started the awareness a campaign of the brand. And we plan to do quite a lot more, of course, on Newsmax, which is, you know, one of our favorite stations because obviously they've been very kind to us and giving us that good uh, a good package for media and other media as well. We plan to roll out about 156 electronic panels in New York through, throughout about 10, 15 subway station. Oh. So the idea is to let people know, hey, we exist. There mm -hmm. is an alternative. So far, the signs are extremely good. It's very well received, and we're really looking forward to really push very hard in the U.S. Oh, yeah. No, it'll be exciting to see your brand in the U.S. on the subways and on TV. And so that, that'll be good. So thank you so yeah, much. It'll be fun. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, remember, please go to secure.com, S-E-K-U-R.com, or if I may, globexdata.com, which is our corporate site. Okay.